Hello, America. My name is Mary Lee. I'm Dashwood Mary Lee. I need you to see my face, so I'm going to have to uh, break the rules for a second. You understand what I'm saying? Now that you see my face, I'm going to put uh, my, my thing back on. Today is October the 7th, Thursday in my city, Chicago, 2021. I have Steve and Paul here at the same time. And I have to um, make somebody aware of what's going on around here. I don't know who's listening, who cares, and who don't care anymore. I basically do not. Okay, I'm glad you're listening too. You got your, your you're taking um, notes from me. That's good, Steve. That's good. He's listening. He's uh, recording also. All right, that's good. See, they always copy the best. Just thought I'd let you know about that too. Um, now. I forgot to get another piece of paper out. I've been up taking stuff down off my wall in my room because I've been threatened several times um, about leaving. And of course, when I'm trying to do something, somebody's always interrupted. I got to put them on. Security usually isn't here. So I have to make that aware too. You understand what I'm saying? So I'm not, I'm not interrupting, but I'm just letting you know, this is what happens when I try to handle my business. You understand what I'm saying? Real talk. So let me let him talk, because they don't like girls talking. That's what I realized. They do not like girls talking. It usually don't be no security in that office when Paul and, um, when Paul and Steve is here. See, it's all about veterans. It's all about veterans. The girls are veterans also, but the guys are taking the girls' veteran money. My Social Security is what they want. Real talk. So I want you to pay attention to the noise in the background to let you know that uh, this is what I go through with these guys here. It's over 30 guys here. It may be 10 girls here, so... You know, they watch us and they come from prison and they're nasty. You understand what I'm saying? Real so. They're nasty. And, you know, they got rape on their mind. And I'm not, I'm not with that. I'm not with that. Okay, this is, what I'm, this is what I'm looking for. So they think a person is nervous and scared, but you see, I ain't even studying their ass. Real talk. Now, these are, the, these are all the rap and hip-hop um record labels and stuff. Um, you got Mac Attack records that started basically in 1973 when I stood up for myself at the age of six and they put me in the Chicago Sun-Times newspaper. I'm the originator of rap and that um, Mac Attack record label that they do not want off the ground because Def Jam records came out with Russell Simmons and LL Cool J in 1984 when I gave Oprah Winfrey my child abuse rap at the age of 17. Priority Records came out in 1985 with Ice Cube. Too Short, Jive Records came out in 1985. Both those years is the year The Color Purple came out. Ruthless Records, 1986 with Eazy-E and N.W.A. Rap-A-Lot, 1986 with uh, uh, James Prince. Uh, Atlantic Records, 1988 MC Light. No Limit Records, Master P, 1990, uh, Death Row Records, and Bad Boy, uh, 1993, uh, Tupac, Suge Knight, Sean Combs, a.k.a. P. Diddy, Rockefeller Records, 1995, Jay-Z, Aftermath Records, 1996, Dr. Dre, uh, Murder, Inc. Records, 1997, that's my sobriety year, uh, I don't drink drugs, smoke, or fornicate, since Christmas, December 25th of 1997. Murder, Inc. Records, 1997. Irv Gotti. Shady Records, a.k.a. Eminem, 1999. Marcus Bruce Mathers III. Um, let's see. G-Unit uh, came out in 2003. Grand Hustle with T.I. came out in 2003. Uh, Maybach 
Music 2009, Rick Ross. Now, I got railroaded May 31st, 2008 on Divine the Clock because they said, you know, I disarmed a police officer, something I did not do because they wanted to usher in this new world order and shut me down because I am the originator of rap music. I wrote all this down and um, I needed this to be, if this gonna be my last video because they trying to kick me out. Now, on September the 7th of this year, allegedly 2021, because you know, books, movies are corrupt, suicide is way up. Um, and this is the holiday. They trying to kick me out around the holiday because they know a lot of people out there drinking drugs and smoking. They want me to get raped, killed and all that because I am the original rated of rap music. You know, really technically at the age of six when I stood up for myself, like I said, and was placed in the Chicago Sun-Times newspaper in the year 1973. But I really, really started writing rap in, at the age of eight in 1975. Now, September the 7th, they gave me this letter right here. You know, oh, I gave them a work order to fix my window and my sink that they purposely messed up so they could harass me. I'm with uh, Feather Fist, uh, an agency called Feather Fist, and they are located um, They're located in my city, Chicago. It's not on this paper right here. Hold on. Let me see if I can find it. Because we got to get this right. You got to. All right, here we go. They located, their agency is located 2255 East 75th Street. Now, you got to remember, I'm the originator of rap music, and the address is 75th Street. And part of the, part of the um, address is my birthday, 525, May 25th. Okay, and they phone number is 773-721-7088. And I had a uh, Jehovah Witness by the name of uh, Lawana George Jacobs, who I believe they sent my way to set me up back in the day, in the 90s. And when I was out there selling junior merchandise, music, things of that nature, and they noticed I was making money. And they couldn't get to me, the guy, so they sent one of their own girls or whatever and stuff. And, you know, she uh, stalked me for six months, and then eventually I befriended her because I thought after six months maybe she wasn't, on no BS, but she was, and she's supposed to have been a G over witness. So part of her phone number is um, the phone number of Feather Fist, which is, like I said, 773-721-7088. Uh, and her number is 773-721-2690, but it's disconnected because we are no longer friends after about 15 years and she got what she wanted, the railroad. Now back to this Feather Fist letter, a maintenance request that I filled out September the 7th, and um, about a window that happened February the uh, 16th that I noticed of this year, 2021, you know, that was cracked, my picture window, and I believe they did it, because there's been a whole lot of stuff going on since I've been here, May 31st of 2017. Now, I filled this out September the 7th, 2021. And Paul, who is right, he's gone now, but he sits right here. You've seen him before. He sits right there. He's um, Steve, right-hand man. And it's mighty convenient he just left. You understand what I'm saying? Real talk, because they don't want this truth to hit home. Real talk. But I already got him on a few more videos. Now, Paul signed it right here, saying that I, I didn't have to pay any um, fees until the uh, big picture window is fixed and the blinds get fixed and the uh, bathroom sink get fixed. This is Paul's signature right here. And Steve was here at the time when Paul signed it. You wanna lie or tell the truth? Okay, so when, when they don't wanna uh, tell the truth, they don't say anything. So the truth of the matter, Steve was here. He didn't sign off on it, but Paul was here and he signed off on it and Steve was right there watching. Now. They trying to put me out saying non-compliance and not paying my fees. I have a money order for September. Now, I wrote this September the 7th. My money order is September, September the 1st. If he had a problem, you understand what I'm saying, real talk with me, he would have said something on September the 7th when I filled this out. And he was right there witnessing Paul's signature. Now, they gave me a letter yesterday. They gave me one before um, trying to build a case against me because they know 
I've been doing the right thing and they've been pretty much harassing me because they know how much I'm worth and they needed me to um, come in here and, and, and pretty much, uh, you know, to take advantage of me. I've given them over $10,000 and you see what it say N.A. Now they put me in Alcoholics Anonymous back in the day. You know, in 1995, when they was trying to label me crazy there, then, and they made me sign off on some papers to get some Social Security, because I believe my mother, you know, back to the veterans thing, was a veteran and put me on her um, veteran for me to get some money, okay? I didn't want to sign off on it because while they, when they put me in the psych ward, John Madden Hospital in 1995, because, you know, I was an able-bodied person and stuff, and I knew I was trying to be somebody, and I'm... I realize, you know, how much I'm worth now. You know, I'm priceless because I'm the originator of rap and I already ran that down to you. So he's telling me that I have to pay him $458. Now I have $228 that I will not give to him until he gives me a letter that says I can um, leave in 15 days and if I'm not gone in 15 days, then he can press charges on me or whatever the case for trespassing. And I would give him the $258 in order for me to leave up out of here in 15 days without any problems. Now, that's what I would do. I need a letter. Will you give me a letter, Steve, saying in 15 days, you know, so I can have time to move my stuff on the bus because, you know, I don't have a car, you know, and have to do what I do. So I won't be under pressure like you've been putting me under. Then I would leave. Will you give me a letter? No, I'm, 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 see, see how you try to trick a person? I just asked you on camera, would you give me a letter saying it's okay for me to stay here 15 days so I can get up out of here and pack my stuff? Real talk. Are you verbally? Verbally. I'm verbally saying that. Okay. But I don't want to get put out. But he's, he's making me leave. He's making me leave. I have to address that. He's making me leave. He's forcing me. He keep harassing me. The last girl that was next door to me, he harassed her out. You understand? I don't know if it's a sexual um, attraction or whatever and stuff, but I'm not interested. I've been here over four years, and I always pay my fees, and do, but they're not doing their part. If he would have um, fixed the um, window and the um, sink, they put the blinds up, but nobody put the blinds up before you fix the window. They just did that to try to get some money, and I'm like, I'm not, I'm not going back and forth. So I need about 15 days. Yes, and if you can put it in letter or say you will put it in letter right now, then, you know, we can end all this controversy or whatever. Because I'm not trying to go to jail, go prison, nothing like that for harassment. All they do is watch me in here, you know, mind my business. It seems like more money, more problems, you know. And everybody got their stimulus checks. I didn't get all of mine. So I have to penny pinch and do videos and monitor my behavior because I'm being harassed. Now, will you or will you not put it in a letter? Because I don't like wasting my memory cards and things of that nature. Will you put it in a letter that I have 15 days to leave? And upon re uh, uh, leaving, I will give you the keys or whatever and the $228 and stuff that I feel is, you know, not, you know, a good thing to do, but just to keep down the trouble or whatever and stuff. You understand what I'm saying? Because they all about the money. They don't care about my welfare. He's the same guy that told me if I got raped in here and, you know, impregnate, he would put me out. And he has two daughters. I have to put that on for real because it's true. Did you not say that to me? So I know you don't care about me. You know, and it's a shame we have to end on this note, but I'm trying to be as personal as possible. Now, do you have a grievance letter? If you can give me that right now, I appreciate it on camera. Do you have um, something I can fill out? You see? If you want to write a grievance, you can fill it out on any piece of paper. So I don't have your head in Feather Fist because you gave me, you know, a vixen on Feather Fist. Uh, I thought maybe y'all had a, a Feather Fist, a grievance letter because I needed to be as professional as possible. This is Ghetto News Reporter Mary Dash 20 Mary Lee. It's getting cold outside, and this is when they really railroad people. Grievance, you can put it on any, on any paper, you see? Mm -hmm. But I don't have a grievance with feather fist per se is you that's harassing me and you getting everybody else to do it why when i haven't done anything to you personally besides protect myself from the, all these guys in here now i'm not going to beg you to stay so if that's what you're looking for i'm not so give you say write it down i'm gonna get it notarized and everything and give it to you know you no i'm gonna get it notarized that's, fine. that's professional 
See, he think he don't want me to think. That's what it is. He think I'm stupid. I gave him my social security letter with my social security uh, card attached to it and my um, picture on it when I first got here, May 31st of 2017. Same day I got railroaded up north, May 31st, 2008, so they can bring in um, Barack Obama and all that nonsense. And Barack Obama picture used to be right there, but uh, they peep game because I peep game and he took it down. Um, these guys just trying to pimp me one way or another. They figured they couldn't get my body, so they'll rape my mind. Um, yeah, so, and it's a lot to deal with, especially when you haven't done anything wrong. And they know I haven't gotten much sleep and stuff, because this is part of the torture they do to me. So it's the holidays, and they know people are, uh, are vulnerable and prone to drinking, drugging, and smoking. Like I say, I don't drink drugs, smoke, or fornicate. And I'm proud to say that. You understand what I'm saying? So please leave me alone. Um, so I'm going to get it notarized and I'll give it to you. When can I give it to you? Whenever you have it done. Okay. So I'm going to write it out and I'm going to give it to you, uh, Monday to make sure I have time to pack just in case you try some fugazi stuff because he threatened to call the police on me the other day. And you know, when the police come nine times out of 10, they're going to take sides with him. And I just need, um, Excuse me. <coughs> it's about the Social Security. Why did you tell me this is a sober environment when I got here? That is a breach of contract. You told me this was a um, sober environment when I got here. Why did you lie to me just to get me in here? Knowing I don't drink drugs and smoking these people in here, drink drugs, smoking everything. They got their uh, stimulus checks. They still owe me two. They probably stole mine. They bought cars. They did what they wanted to do. And when I buy stuff that I like, then they, uh, you know, harass me, break in my room, steal my stuff, and act like it's my fault. I have never went in nobody's room, violated them, none of that. Now, my voice is changing because whatever he's doing is part of that sinister stuff. And I want you to, <coughs> I want you to witness all of this because <coughs> this ain't me. They have um, compromised my body when they put me on the psych board and ushered me here because he's supposed to be a doctor. I didn't realize that. I thought he was just a manager, but he's a doctor, and um, they give their patients drugs here and stuff and they was trying to turn this into a psych ward and monitor me but he's the one being monitored for real he needs the um psyche valve not me it is something wrong with steve how many people have you killed since you're being here steve for real because you definitely trying to kill me you don't want to be on camera telling the truth and he's from africa also so that's what they do they come to africa they mess with native americans and then they do their dirty work and take the money that we earn or, you know, the inheritance or whatever, and they go back with the Social Security and, you know, live their best life. And he's very um, stingy, real talk. He don't let you get away with nothing. Ah, yeah, there. Go ahead. So Monday is okay, you say? Perfectly fine. Perfectly fine. What day is Monday? You have a phone that has a calendar. I mean, can you tell me right fast? I'm, I'm, I ask, this, this is the problem I have. See, this is the problem I have, and he's supposed to be my case manager. Imagine that. Can't even tell me what day it is, but he want my money. Today is Monday. Huh? You said Monday. I said what date is going to be oh, Monday. Oh, you want the date of Monday? Yeah. Look precisely, if you the exact date, month, and year. Mm-hmm. The 11th, the day of his Lord, 2021. See, that's the problem. We got two different gods and stuff. Just for the scripture, the scripture is, is Ezekiel chapter 7, 8, 9, 10, and 11. I'm not going my, myself, so if I die, we all die. I hope you believe in the same God that I believe in, because yours ain't going to make it if I don't make it. That's the honest God's truth. You understand what I'm saying?
I'm the only one been helping these people out. He hasn't done nothing. What happened to the um, computer class that you were supposed to hook me up with? I asked you several times if you could do that. What happened with that? What happened with the computer class? I asked several times to get some help around here. He's never helped me. All he's done was monitor me and harass me. What happened to the computer class, Steve? At Feather Fist. What happened to that? All right, fam, we got what we need and stuff. Um, this ain't nothing but a, um, a hustle. Like I told you in other videos, this color right here is the same color of Michael Jordan's restaurant, but it's the same color of my first ever used car when I was a teenager, a 1981 Color Supreme. Um, I, pr I spray painted the tires this color, real talk, you know, to stand out because I knew people were coming after me and uh, harassing me and stuff. Now, they so worried about me, they won't even sweep around here. They don't do much of nothing. All they do is act as if they doing something. And they got security on file because they want the police come and drag me out, make it seem as though I'm some kind of um, problem or whatever. And then it says, warning, video, audio, uh, surveillance in progress. If you are reading this, I'm watching you. They always watch it. They watch me when I use the bathroom. They watch me when I take a shower. They watch me on the psych ward in um, 2016. And they lied and said they wasn't. I caught them. You understand? They try to make it seem as though I'm crazy when they know I'm the originator of rap music. I've proven that several times. And they're jealous of my legacy and the fact that, you know, I'm worth more than them. Real talk. That's what it boils down to. Men hate losing to girls, but they'll use us up just like the nation of Islam. They be wanting guys and stuff, sons. But the daughters, they work like a man and stuff, and then they, you know, get them pregnant, and then they kill them, and then they raise the child and stuff. That's the hustle. That's the game they own. Real talk. That's the game. This elevator supposed to work. They made sure they wanted me to struggle. They took the elevator down. You understand what I'm saying? They wanted my signature so bad, I put it on my, look. That's why I tell them, don't shit on me and say it's raining. I had Mary Lee Davis on my, on my mailbox. They just put this up yesterday, Nate Dozer. I, I had that on my mailbox, my signature. They took my signature because they could use my signature against me and write checks and things of that nature. They're very criminal minded and problematic, real talk. And they're getting a lot of um, help from various walks of life. Basically transit and hobos and people that come into my city to uh, violate the ones that's worth the most. They have a list of people when they get here that they're going to kill, steal, and destroy. You understand what I'm saying? And I just happen to be on the list. And my ex-girlfriend, Lawanda Joy Jacobs, the so-called Jehovah Witness, worked for Blue Cross Blue Shields in my city of Chicago downtown. And I must have been on her list as far as insurance is concerned. It's the insurance. You understand what I'm saying? Real talk. So now that we got that out the way, Monday I will have your notarized letter. For real, and 15 days from there, I'ma need, I'ma need um, to be able to move up out of here and stuff. Anything happened to me before then, before Monday, he's the killer. Real talk. What's your last name? What's your name? Steve what? You know everything about me. What's your last name? Can I get your last name? See, they weren't expecting someone as wise as me, you know, to be doing what I'm doing. They just thought I was going to lay down and die. Not me, not today. The devil is a lot. It's raining outside. What's my favorite saying, Mary McAmyris? Do not shit on me and say it's raining. With that, this will get a news report of Mary Dash between Mary Lee. I'm really in trouble now. Peace.